time now is uh, 7.49. It's time now to find out how the markets are doing. Hey, good morning, America. I'm sure. Well, we've got a pretty quiet morning going on, but here's la la call between the Dow Jones down 72 points. The Nasdaq. The customers were objective. <laughs> That's not me. But... Made with the same quality and care. The low 60s go out and make it a great day. Let's get an update on your morning commutes with financing for a quality you surrender yourself to the Lord. The airline stocks are actually rallying a bit this morning.
probably the worst instant human toll of any crime, and that may be true. But there are terrorist crimes with effects a bit more drawn out uh, that are much more extreme. Nevertheless, it's a historic event because there was a change. The change was the direction in which the guns were pointed. During these close to 200 years, the United States expelled or mostly exterminated the indigenous population, many million people, uh, conquered half of Mexico, uh, carried out uh, depredations all over the region, Central America, sometimes beyond, uh, conquered Hawaii and the Philippines, killing several hundred thousand Filipinos in the process. Uh, since the Second World War, it's extended its reach uh, around the world in ways I don't have to describe, but it was always killing someone else. The fighting was somewhere else. It was others who were getting slaughtered, not here.
course of this nation does not depend on the decisions of others.
feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up. You know that feeling that the whole country is like one inch away from saying, that's it, forget it. You think about it, everything's polluted. The environment, the government, the schools, you name it. You out there? You listening? and 
without popular support. All the while the people read our leaflets. Now they languish under our bombs and consider us the real enemy. They move sadly and apathetically as we heard them off the land of their fathers.
entire people have raised up to defend their freedom and independence and at the same time contribute to the cause of the peoples struggling for their emancipation and peace. We are absolutely sure of our victory.
pointed out of the man on the street, the peasant in the field. We live in a really decadent society, like Russia before the revolution, or China before the revolution, or Cuba before the revolution. Like a sewer, there's a tremendous amount of crime, a tremendous amount of backwardness, a tremendous amount of individualism, competition, hatred of people.
that violence to rid ourselves of oppression if necessary. We will be free by any means necessary.
committed to each other. We're committed to studying with each other, to arguing about what's right and what's wrong, about deciding as a whole what to do, and then going forward and carrying it out. That's the only way we can find out whether or not what we've decided is right or wrong. And that's the contribution that we have to make and that the revolutionary movement as a whole has to make to the people in this country.